welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the Sega Board uh, Pro 2. Uh, just a reminder, this is the dual direct drive model. Beast of a board, uh, dual 500 watt I think, Fock motors. Very, very cool board. Um, I haven't done a video on this for a little while just because I've been so busy with uh, a whole lot of new boards coming in. I'd like to get the unboxing first ride done straight away. Today is all about the range test. Just a reminder of the battery on this thing, it is a Panasonic 21700 cells, so the 21700s, uh, and it's a 12S 2P configuration, so it's going to have a good top speed, uh, and it's a 9.6 amp hour battery. While we're riding too, we'll also talk about the new board they have just released, which hopefully we'll have to uh, look at and review on this channel very soon, uh, but we'll talk about while we're riding. Uh, as usual, I'll be using the uh, Relive app to capture the, the data and so on. Uh, and we'll make sure that's all shown at the end. Um, today we'll be riding in medium mode. So this has a low, medium and high. Uh, and we'll be trying to sit around that 20, 25K mark as I always do. So let's get riding. I'll grab a helmet and uh, we'll see what this board can do. All right guys, so we've just started the range test. I'm just gonna cruise to the uh, car quickly and get my helmet. So don't murder me. It's only hundred meters and I'm on the footpath. But we have started the app. So everything is now tracking. Um, quick thing I'll talk about this, uh, these Fock. FOC and motors, they are very, very torquey when paired with this, um, this VISC-6. If you're not ready for it, it will, um, it will throw you off in low, medium and high. Man, this thing has got some torque and some power. It is so smooth. Let's just, uh, Doing on the fly check in, see where we're sitting at. Gonna open the app up. Wait a second. All right, so we're on just under 3k so far, so 2.7k so far, going very well. Let me just look at the. It's a very rudimentary remote, so it doesn't really tell you much as far as percentages, but let me just push this. So we've still got four full lights, so still going well. we'll keep riding. Try to avoid too many hills so we get an accurate, uh, accurate figure. But so far, so good. It's these sorts of hills you try to avoid on a range test, long and slow, they just drain the energy. So just take that into account with the final number. Again, with these Panasonic uh, 21700s, there should be no sag according to everybody. So we'll definitely put that to the test as well. Alright guys, first official check-in, we're on 5.2 kilometers, and we've got one light down. I'll just show you that quickly, may not be able to see because of the sun. So we've lost one light just now, so five kilometers in, we have just done quite a few hills, which shouldn't affect the 21700 cells, so there should be no sag there. So let's keep riding, we'll check in again at about 10 kilometers, talk soon. Check in, check in. We're on 8.5 kilometers and we are about 50% down. It's about what I expected with these rubber wheels and my weight, 100 kilos. On track to get around the, the 16, around the 16 kilometer mark, 16, 17 kilometers. I have been going quite fast. The average speed won't show that because these, these traffic lights out here are just ridiculous. I've been standing still for like five minutes at a time, which unfortunately does calculate into the average speed on the apps that I use, Relive and so on. You can pause it, but I've done that twice where I've forgotten to unpause it. You can also set them to auto pause, but what we found when I did a range test once with Andrew Penman is that it takes about 100 to 200 meters 
to restart. And if you do that over a period of, you know, 30, maybe say 20, 30 stops, that can be a difference of, you know, two, three kilometers sometimes. So I don't use the auto pause feature anymore for that exact one reason. So seeker board, what can we say about seeker board? Um, they had some massive issues when they launched. They launched at probably the worst time in history uh, as coronavirus was just taking a grip of uh, Wuhan and China. And they had a few issues with factories shutting down and they were a little bit slow to not stop taking orders, but to advise their customers that orders would be quite delayed. Now, they've since rectified that. It's my understanding that anybody who asked for a refund was given one, which is a very good sign. And these guys have come out the other side of this now a lot stronger. So if you order the Seeker 2 Pro 2, Pro 2 now, it comes with all new motors with really nice heat sinks built into them, 600 watts versus 500 watts and so on. So they're really up in their game. They've also just released a brand new board. Now the deck shape may look a bit familiar. Uh, it's on a few other boards around at the moment. But what they're using is they're using a very high powered hub motor and it's called the Seeker AT S1, I believe. I'll chuck a photo right here or here. It's an awesome looking deck. Um, massive drop down as you can see. It's a dual hub, 14 amp hour battery, which is huge for a, um, a hub board. Uh, and I think it's like $1,000 or 1100. I'll put the price on the screen. I can't look at my phone right now because I am writing. But for a 14 amp hour battery, uh, 21700 sells again. This one is, oh, big, whoo, whoo, sorry, big bump. Uh, 21700 cells, 12S, this is a 12S 3P from memory. So it's gonna give you a lot more range being that 14 amp hour, but still a good top speed being the 12S. Uh, and I know Andrew Penman is gonna be getting it very, very shortly uh, to review. So I'll link his channel below. Yeah, this S1 looks like it's gonna be the business. It's a, it's a pretty cool looking board. Back to the Pro 2. Oh man, I'm coming, I'm coming back the same way with this massive skinny bit, which is bad on direct drives. Um, back onto the Pro 2, they've dropped the price on this ri ri ridiculously. It's now like 999 I think, plus uh, with my discount code uh, in the description, you get $100 off. So that brings it down to 899 Beware of snakes, where I live, which is about 15k away from here. There was actually one on the uh, spot on the footpath the other day, just going along with a, uh, a rat or a mouse in its mouth. <sighs> Australia, still going strong out here in suburbia, going Rouse Hill or Kellyville or something like that. I'm not sure of this name of the suburb. Not many cars around, which is nice. Let's see where we're at really quickly. Some thumb off the accelerator. Okay, 12.1 kilometers so far. 12.1 kilometers, still going strong. So we'll just keep on riding. Uh, we've lost no power, which is expected, which is great. Still have that bite where it wants to throw you off. Let's end the video there. Uh, true to the 21700's nature, there was no sag until probably the last 100 meters. Very similar to the um, 18650 Samsung 30Qs. Just no sag at all, still powering up hills to the very last, the last drop. Uh, as far as range, we only got 16 kilometers today, but there were a whole heap more hills than what I expected. Um, if anyone knows this area, they'll be able to testify that it's just, it's just rolling, rolling up and down, up and down. Um, I didn't realize how hilly it was, and I did get lost a few times. Um, which you'll see on the map where I double back um, and then just the hills are just massive which does drain the battery don't forget guys I'm 100 kilos as well which also unpacks it um, so 16 kilo uh, 16 kilometers really is is what I expected 
um, on the Seeker Pro 2. Um, so don't forget, what do we want to talk about? 16 kilometers, uh, riding for about an hour, traffic lights take forever to change, so average speed is not accurate. We sat on around 25k, even 30 sometimes. We had a really big top speed there at one stage, I gave it a nice burst. Uh, we hit 43 kilometers per hour. Again, that's only a medium, don't forget. So this is a powerhouse of a board. If, you, if you're an average rider weight of 80 kilos, you're gonna easily get over 25K, I'd say, on this board. Um, new motors are coming for this or on it now. So if you order this now, you get the new upgraded motors with the much bigger heat sinks. Uh, 600 watts versus 500 watts, I believe. I'll just chuck the details down here if that's wrong. Uh, and yeah, let's end the video there. Uh, don't forget, check out their website for their new AT, the S1. As I mentioned, Andrew Penman will be reviewing that very, very shortly. It's in transit now. If you'd like me to have a look at it as well and chuck a, and do a review on it, chuck a comment down below and I'll try my best to get my hands on that board. Um, up next, we're going to be looking at the Backfire Zealot, so the G3 belt. All right, guys, don't forget, always wear a helmet, skate safe, and we will catch you on the next video. Thanks.